Welcome back to Yoga by Paige. Thank you for subscribing to the channel for weekly videos. Today we'll be working on our Sun Salutation B, which is a follow-up from our Sun Salutation A. So if you're ready, let's start in Downward Dog on our mats. As you arrive here in Downward Facing Dog, continue to press your fingers nice and wide. Make sure your spine is really long, pressing your chest closer to your thighs. The inner thighs will reach all the way up to the ceiling as your ears drop in line with your biceps. We'll take two more breaths here, inhaling through your nose for a count of four or five, and exhaling through your nose for a count of four or five. Beginning to feel some openness in the backside of your body, inhale, and exhale. And then as you look forward to your hands, we'll walk our feet forward into forward fold at the top of our mats. On an inhale, bring your fingertips to your mat or shins, reach the crown of your head forward, and then exhaling all the way down. And then we will toe heel our big toes to be together. Our heels can be apart if that feels more comfortable for you. As you inhale, you'll drop your seat, lift your chest, coming up into chair pose or ukatasana. As you're here, you'll squeeze the thighs together for the lower abdominals engaged so you can keep a really strong flat back through your spine. Sometimes it can be helpful to turn the pinkies in as if you're grabbing a big beach ball to let the upper arm bones rest into the shoulder socket. And now here you're starting to feel some heat build. So you'll want to shift the weight into your heels. Make sure you can see your toes and maybe even wiggle them. That's the litmus test here to make sure you've got your weight distributed appropriately. We'll take one more breath here, really starting to feel that heat build. And then as you inhale, you'll press through your heels, stand all the way up, reach your chest up to the sky, finding a small back bend. On your exhale, we'll swan dive all the way down into forward fold. Inhaling fingertips to your mat or shins, lift up halfway. As you exhale, you'll plant your hands, step back into high plank pose. As you arrive in high plank, we'll pause here for a moment, making sure the tailbone is reaching out towards the heels. Your chest turns forward. Take an inhale here, shift forward to your toes. On an exhale, squeeze the elbows back into your rib cage for Chaturanga Dandasana. As you inhale, scoop your chest through for upward facing dog or cobra if you're still modifying. And then exhaling back, downward facing dog. We'll take a big deep breath here to reset and to reground and exhale. Now this time as you inhale, we'll step the left foot toward the center of your mat, float your right leg high for a big stretch and three leg down dog. So you're stretching this right heel up and it's up to you if you wanna let the hip open to get a little bit more stretch or if you wanna continue working the abdominals by keeping the leg and hip even. One more breath here. And as you exhale, we're gonna round the spine, step our foot all the way forward to our hands. And if it doesn't quite get there, you can use your right hand to help your right foot forward. Once your right foot is forward, we'll land here in a low plank pose. Picking up the back of that left knee, pull your chest through. I like to lift up onto the fingertips to create more room in the spine. From your low lunge, press through that right heel, wrapping your right hip back and the crown of your head forward, feeling a nice big stretch. I also like to imagine a weight or even a sandbag landing on the sacrum here so that the hips can hang heavy, really starting to get into that stretch of the front left hip flexor. We'll take one more breath here. And then as you inhale, we're gonna plant the left hand underneath the left shoulder, peel your right arm high for a low twisted lunge. Gaze can look up at that right thumb. And then as you're stretching and opening the front side of your body, pull your right hip back so you're creating length on the right side body as well. Big breath here, inhale. As you exhale, plant that right hand down. We'll turn the left toes out, planting the left hip on the mat, and then root to rise all the way up into your warrior one. As you arrive in warrior one, a couple things are happening. This front thigh bone is plugging all the way back into your hip socket, and then the left leg or your back leg is working just as much as your front leg. So lift up that inner left arch, feel the toes connect with the ground, and then press a little bit more into your right leg, feeling some resistance. Once you're there, you'll start to feel that your torso is suspended and it's a little bit lighter. If you'd like, you can bring the palms to touch, allowing the gaze to lift up. Take a big deep inhale here. 
And as you exhale, we'll plant the hands on either side of our front foot, stepping it back into our high plank pose. Inhale, shift forward to your toes, and then exhaling down, chaturanga. Inhale, pull your chest through for upward facing dog or cobra. As you exhale back, downward facing dog. We'll take one breath here to reset. And exhale. Nice, yogis. You'll step your right foot to the center of your mat. As you inhale, stretch that left leg up. Again, if you went for the hip opening, go ahead and open your hip. Or if you kept the hip square, go ahead and point that left hip bone straight down. One more big deep inhale. As you exhale, round the spine, draw your knee toward your nose, stepping your foot between your hands, taking that time to adjust if you need to. As we land here in our low lunge, the knee is stacked over your ankle and your hips drop heavy once more. Come up onto your fingertips to reach your chest forward, getting a big stretch now through the front of your right leg, that's through your hip flexor, and the back of your left leg through the glutes. Reach your chest forward, inhale. Holding for that exhale. And then we'll plant the right hand down. Peel that left arm up for that twist here. So you're trying to stack the shoulders on top of one another. Gaze can look up at that top thumb. And here you're wrapping the left hip back, energizing that right leg, finding length where you can. One more breath here, inhale. On your exhale, set the left hand down. Spin your right toes open, dropping your right heel, and now we'll root to rise up into warrior one here. Big breath here in your warrior one, connecting with that back foot. So lift up your inner arch, feel the toes grip the mat, and now you can press forward through your heel. Once you press forward, this left thigh bone is plugging back in so that you can start to square your shoulders. Palms can touch, gaze can lift. Big breath here. And then as you exhale, plant the hands down on either side of your front foot, stepping it back, high plank pose, inhale, shift forward to your toes, squeeze in the rib cage with your elbows as they point straight back, chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, pull your chest through upward facing dog and exhaling back, downward facing dog. We'll take three breaths here to reset. You can always let your elbows float down to the mat for dolphin pose, giving the wrists a little break. And of course, remember child's pose is always available to you at any time. That's your hips dropping towards your heels and your forehead dropping towards the mat. We'll take one more breath where you are and exhale. On your next inhale, we'll come up into our tabletop position, tucking the toes, lifting the hips if you're not already there, arriving in downward facing dog. We'll put that all together just a little bit more smoothly. As you inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, looking between your hands. Exhale to step or hop into forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale to find your halfway lift, exhaling all the way down. Big toes will touch this time. As you inhale, drop your seat, lift your chest, chair pose, ukutasana. Lengthen out the lower back, allow the shoulders to settle in as you squeeze those thighs together, feeling some heat build into the body. I like to smile because it's pretty much the opposite of what you really want to do in chair pose. We'll take one more breath. On your next round of inhale, you'll stand all the way up. Lift up the heart if that feels good for you. Take a small back bend to release your body. And then exhaling down into forward fold. As you inhale, lift up halfway. On your exhale, plant your hands. Step or hop back into that high plank pose. Inhale, shift to your toes. Exhaling elbows will squeeze the ribcage chaturanga. Pull your chest through. Inhale, upward facing dog and exhaling back, downward facing dog. Right away here, step the left foot into the center, let the right leg float up high, three leg dog, inhale. On your exhale, step the foot between your hands, low lunge. Allow the left toes to spin out, dropping your left heel, we'll rise up for that warrior one. Pull the right hip and shoulder back, inhale, lift up, maybe your palms touch, and then exhale, frame the foot with your hands. Inhale, stepping it back, high plank pose, Shift it forward and chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, pull your chest through upward facing dog. And exhaling back, downward facing dog. Right foot steps to the center of your mat. Inhale, float the left leg high. 
exhaling to step the foot between your hands low lunge right toes out right heel down rise up warrior one shoulders and hips reach to the front of your mat inhale maybe the palms touch exhaling frame your foot with your hands stepping it back high plank pose inhale shift forward to your toes exhaling chaturanga inhale to pull your chest through upward facing dog exhaling back downward facing dog we'll take three breaths to reset and then here on this next round we'll move more or less one move one breath with a little more less instruction so that you can really start to feel the flow of this sun salutation be here we go inhale lift your heels bend your knees inhale step or hop into forward fold exhale inhaling halfway lift exhale to forward fold big toes come to touch drop your seat lift your chest inhale chair pose hold for your exhale stand up inhale shine your heart lifting out exhaling swan dive forward fold inhale to find your halfway lift lengthening legs and chest Exhale to plant your hands, step or hop back, moving through your chaturanga, high to low plank. Inhale to find your upward facing dog. And exhale to back to downward facing dog. On your inhale, float your right leg high. Exhaling, step the foot between your hands, low lunge. Spin the left toes out, left heel down, rise up, one breath to inhale, warrior one. And exhaling, ride your breath down all the way through your chaturanga. Inhale, lift your chest up high, upward facing dog. Exhaling back, downward facing dog. Left leg floats high, inhale, three leg dog. Exhaling, to step that foot between your hands. Right toes out, right heel down, rise up, warrior one. Inhale. As you exhale, ride the breath all the way down through your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath here, inhale, yogis. And as you exhale, go ahead and set your knees down on the mat. <sighs> and there you have it, yogis. That's your sun salutation fee. Thank you for joining me, Yoga by Page. And don't forget to subscribe for weekly videos. Namaste.